Hi, I'm Duana Haley, and I am Vice President here at Porta Novelli, and I'm also an inaugural member of the PR Council's next Shadow Board, which I am incredibly excited about. And this month, I am handling the channel's vlog post, the February vlog post, which I'm also very excited about, albeit a little nervous because it's Black History Month, and I am black. And so I want to make sure that whatever I share is something that is incredibly valuable to our industry and also um, that represents the culture well. So I've been thinking about this for a few days and I wanted to figure out like what would be the best thing to share and you know what's what's happening now that you know is a bridge to what's happening in um, our industry. And what I realized is that Everyone's talking about Black Panther, right? Everybody's so excited about it. And if you haven't heard that or seen that, like I'm not exactly sure which rock you're living under, but like come out from under there. Like come out of the billable work real quick. Everybody, knock, 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 come out of the billable work. Join me here just for one second in Black Panther land. So everybody's talking about it. Mainstream media is going nuts all over it. And um, black people in particular are uh, really excited about the movie. And there's a couple reasons for that, or what, there's one main reason for that, I guess I should say, that is what we're going to talk about today. And that is, um, here's the thing. I'm going to be very honest with you here. Are you ready? Okay. So, in my life, throughout my life, there have been very few uh, movies or mainstream uh, visuals of African Americans, black people, that were shown in a positive light. Generally, when we're in a movie or uh, when we are cast for anything, we are, it is cast from a perspective of slavery, or we are the help, or we are from some downtrodden, crime-ridden, poverty-filled neighborhood in which we had to rise above to come out of. And so it doesn't give you as a person a whole lot to aspire to. It doesn't give you um, a whole lot of pos positive uh, visualization for self. And so when we look at Black Panther, this movie is not just a movie about black people. It's not just another Marvel comic movie. It is a Marvel comic movie that is showing the layers of beauty to black people and black culture. We are being portrayed as monarchs, royalty, majestic, magical, powerful, insightful people. It is giving layers to our culture. It is showing us as how we perceive ourselves to be. It is showing um, the intricacies of our relationships and even how we deal with conflict. Um, it is an beautiful representation, which is a word I want to uh, lean into, representation of who we are. And that is what's got us so excited. The idea that mainstream media, a mainstream medium, movie making, would represent us in a way that is so near and dear and close to how we really perceive ourselves. And so when I thought about that, and bridging over to our industry. You know, our industry is beginning to tackle very carefully the issue of diversity and inclusion. And one of the things that's really important for me within this whole discussion that we get right is one of representation. It is one thing for us to figure out within our corporate culture, programmatically and culturally, what do we want to do um, to figure out diversity and inclusion so that we get it right. And it's a whole other thing to make sure that within that conversation we prioritize representation and positive representation of black people, people of color. And here's why that's important. When you're growing up and you think about what you want to be, you look out and you may have seen all types of examples of what that is. And you said, oh, you know, my uncle is, or I see this famous person is, or whatever. And you grab hold to that vision, and you personalize it, and you customize it, and you say, this is what I want to be. But when you are growing up and that representation is not there, 
or when you see representation of yourself, it's always coming from a place of lack or a place of having to overcome. It's not ever one of majesty and majestic and all the beautiful nuances of who you and your people are. It's hard for you to grab vision as to what that could be or what you could be. And so I share with you that it is really important that we get the representation portion of the diversity and inclusion discussion right because we have people who are in school now, who are studying our crafts, who are trying to figure out you know where they fit into this whole world and if they don't look out especially people of color and they don't see people in the decision-making seat they don't see people at the table who look like them then they automatically perceive that it's not an industry that they should choose or if they do they're not going to be able to get very far and I don't think that that's the story that we aim to tell I think we mean to say that this industry is one where if you come and you work hard you can go anywhere and do anything and do some really incredible work telling great stories that is going to affect behavior change in this country and across the world so we got to get representation right we got to make sure that we have diverse perspectives sitting at the table and we've got to make sure that that table and everyone sitting around it is reflective of the world so that for that little girl and that little boy somewhere out there in the atmosphere right now trying to figure out what they want to be, that they look at our industry too and they say, I want to do that. I want to be the person that is responsible for telling great stories and affecting behavior change around the world. That is a powerful thing. So from taking a look at Black Panther, I realized that I'm really hoping my hope against hope as we all figure our place in diversity and inclusion and the discussion around DNI is that we also prioritize representation. Kids out there today, kids that are coming up behind each of us when we vacate these positions, they need to see what's possible. They need to see my face and all the faces that look like mine so that they want to come into our industry. It's really important. So, thank you for spending time with me today. I hope I gave you something interesting to think about. Feel free to hit me up on social at Ask the PR Girl and tell me what you think. And more importantly, make sure you're following all of PR Council's channels and that you keep up with us this year. The next board I think is going to wow you as to how we take on issues in this industry. And I'm really looking forward to the work that we do. Have a great Black History Month. Bye.